Modern kids are born with phones in their hands. Even if we, parents, try to minimize the usage of different gadgets like smartphones, tablets, or laptops, we don't always succeed. But we try to benefit from our children's love for gadgets and encourage them to watch educational videos and play learning games. Are they as beneficial as we think? Well, today we will talk about the pros and cons of digital learning here at NovaKid. Let's start with the pros. Accessibility. There are tons of different content you can find on the internet for all ages and tastes. Many resources are completely free. You can use them with no limits. You just need to browse for apps, websites, videos that seem useful and voila! Not all time will be wasted watching random videos and playing random games. Hidden learning. Unfortunately, children are very dependent on their smartphones and the internet. They will be ready to follow your rules for some extra screen time. The beauty of game-based learning content is that often children don't feel like they're studying. By playing simple memory games, children will be able to memorize and review new words without even noticing. Motivation. When it comes to online games, their main feature is that anyone can win. It is very important for children. The same goes for the level-to-level -level organization of video games. This makes players move forward, try again and again until they win. It's that element that captures the attention of the player. In other words, your child stays motivated to complete all the levels and tasks and ends up learning more. And what are the cons of digital learning? Well, a lack of interaction. Practicing language skills, phonetics, lexis, grammar, via apps and games, even videos, is great. But the goal in learning English is communication. The available English educational online content unfortunately fails in providing this for children. The educational games can be a bit monotonous, which makes children lose interest. They are not big fans of going through the same task from level to level, even if different concepts are being learned. Diversity is the key to effective learning. And to keep it up, there should be at least 10 different apps installed on your child's phone. And it's not very efficient, since most probably they will jump between the games and become overwhelmed with information. Lack of control. We cannot be 100% sure that children will stick to our plans for their phones. One hour dedicated to learning, in reality, can be split between 20 minutes of actual learning and 40 minutes of watching random videos or playing other games. Of course, we won't confront them. They are children, after all. However, our initial plan to use gadgets to benefit cannot be 100% fulfilled. Do you know that here at Novaki, we can turn these cons into pros? Our lessons are based on complete language immersion and new words and grammar rules are being practiced right after their introduction. Experienced teachers are here to guide your child throughout the process and to make sure that everything was understood. And your child will never get bored. Each lesson has its unique storyline and set of games and exercises, and it differs from one unit to another. Plus, additional activities are available in the child's personal account. We can assure you that during 25 minutes, your child will get the most. And if you want to check on the progress, the video recordings are available for you right after each lesson. And in case of any questions, you can always contact the support team. The digital era made knowledge accessible to everyone. You need practically zero preparations and only motivation is needed. However, it would be a mistake if we think that we can entrust our children's knowledge to the internet. Of course, it's a great source of additional information, but the foundation should be laid by schools. And NovaKid is the best option.